Hello and welcome to Guru Squad. My name is Ahmed. I'll be showing you how easy it is to create a job using the Job Creation Wizard in GS Rich Copy 360. Once we have GS Rich Copy 360 open, we click on the Jobs tab, click on New, and now we're presented with a wizard. We can either go through the wizard, or we could have we could skip the wizard by clicking No. So if we go ahead and proceed with the wizard, we click next, give this job a name basically. So we can call it job software distribution. This is just the example. The source, we could either type in the source location or we could click on browse. Source is basically where you would like to copy from. So in this example, we're gonna go ahead and copy from the D software distribution folder. Destination, we can basically say where you want to copy it to. In this case, we can either browse it, and we can also type in the location where we want to do it. Note that you've got all these different question marks. These are basically gives you more information about the, what's being prompted. So in this case, if it's a job name, if you click on it, this is just uh, this is the name of the job that you will be able to identify with later and throughout the different screens. We click on next. Here it's asking you the second step. It's asking you basically what you would like to use and which copying options you would like to use. We could either copy only deltas, so files that have files and folders that have changed only. We could do a mirror. So basically files and folders from source will go to destination, but also if there are any files in destination that do not exist in the source, will be deleted. You could move the files, you could copy only the directory structure and leaving files behind. You could copy everything all over, regardless whether these files exist and their exact replicas in the source, they would still be copied over. So we're just gonna go ahead and select copy only changes. We can select whether to copy open and locked files using VSS, volume shadow service, we could copy NTFS permissions, we can preserve date and time in the source and destination, so that way destination folders would have, would reflect the same exact date as your source folders. We can copy file and folder attributes, and at any time again we can click on the question mark to get more details. Click next, now we've got logging. If you'd like to create a log, you have the option to do so. So we could say we want to create a log. Copy it here. The log. We can append to the log. We can set a specific size. We can have. We can elect to send an email. So here we're just going to go ahead and send us an email to this address. We could run the job manually, or we could have it set to run at a specific time. And if we decide to do so, we can say run as a service. So that way, uh, we don't have to be logged onto the machine for this job to run. And in my case, we're going to go ahead and do it manually. Click Next. It's giving you a confirmation of what you have selected. Click Finish. And now we have a job that's been created for us right here. We can go ahead and run the job if we decide to do so. Right click on it, click Start or we can click on the start button right here and the job is running at the moment as we speak it's getting queued up and it's running and we can click on it to look at its progress to see how it's running through this is a job with four multi-threads uh, this is how simple it is to create a job through a job creation wizard and uh, we've done gone ahead and done a full demonstration and I would like to thank you for your time and thank you for reviewing.